All right, hello everybody, the part-time pilot here, uh, continuing our video series on aircraft systems. This Today's video is going to be on vacuum systems. Now, the vacuum system is important because it powers your turn coordinator, heading indicator, and attitude indicator gyros. I also have listed here a vacuum gauge that is also connected to the vacuum system line and gives the pilot an indication of how their vacuum system is performing. So how does this work? Well, an engine-driven vacuum pump creates a pressure difference between the instruments and the pump itself, which creates a flow, if you follow these red lines, a flow of air out of the instruments through what we call a regulator and out into the pump. Now, the regulator's purpose is that these gyros need a consistent force of flow operating on them. Now, since the pump is driven by the engine, the engine is not always spinning at the, a consistent speed. Depending on the RPM of your throttle, whether you're taking off or landing, it's going to change. So the engine-driven pump is going to change and it's going to create different amounts of pressure differential. So the regulator ensures that that pressure differential stays about the same so that your turn coordinator, heading indicator, and attitude gyro are always acting about the same, no matter what engine RPM. Now, where does the air come from? So the pump, again, is pumping from here. The air starts somewhere where there's clean air usually the cabin so over here we got the cabin and you're gonna have an air inlet so you get clean air in that goes through a vacuum filter and again we're gonna filter out the air even though we got clean air from the cockpit we want extra clean air for our gyros any small amount of debris could get in there and jam up one of your gyros you do not want anything in there so again we're gonna get clean air from the cockpit and then we're gonna filter that clean air to make sure it's extra clean. And all this air is gonna follow the blue line. It's gonna go into these uh, indicators and it's going to go back out. So it's gonna flow right through the gyros, powering the gyros, and then out through these red lines into the regulator and then into the pump. Eventually, it's going to vent out of the pump here. Sorry about that. And that's it pretty much so in through the cockpit into the instruments powering the gyro out of the instruments through the regulator ensuring a consistent amount of flow into the pump and out of the pump and that is your vacuum system thank you